Welcome to I Am One. I am Domina, the witchess of this house, and thank you for being here. All right, so we continue with the 13 Nights of Samhain, um, the challenge, and tonight is, I caught up, tonight <laughs> is October 26th, and the prompt for this night is share your favorite recipe for the season. Um, as I have come into this path, there are a lot of spells and things that I have done. And some of those things entail using oil or using um, mixtures of things like Florida water or um, anointing oils or things like that. And what I like to do as much as possible, if I can make my own, I do that. I think, and I've also heard, and I attest to, that the things that you do yourself, which is perfectly fine if you can't and you need to source it out from someone else who has made it, by all means, do that. But if you have the capability and a lot of the things that you need, you have around the house, uh, try making it yourself. So I enjoy doing that. And what I recently did, um, the new moon in October, I made a new batch of Florida water. So I'm going to show you my jar that is brewing at this time. Oh my gosh, here it is. So you can see some of the things that I put in here. I will go through um, what's in here and um, um, maybe I'll put the, the full recipe in the description box. But you can see there's some oranges in here. I have some lemons. I have some lime. Um, and I'll just go through all that. But um, I use it, the last batch I did, um, I think I did it from, it was either new moon to new moon or full moon to full moon, whatever that, whatever cycle of the moon I started with, I waited until that next, that same next moon came around the next time. And so I started this one with the new moon of this month and I'm going to let it go until the new moon of uh, the next new moon. I don't have the date in front of me, but November sometime. So here's that. At least I think it's, yeah, sometime November. So here's what I put into it. And I tweak it. I've done, this is like the third batch that I've made. And each time that I've done it, I've tweaked it. And each time I do it, I write down exactly what I did. Um, because the first time I, I did it, I did it one way. I, it worked, but I didn't really care for that, that version. So the second time I did it, I love that one, but I'm almost out of it. So that's why I started this batch before I'm totally out of that batch. Um, but even from what I loved the last time, I tweaked it. And it's pretty similar to the one that I love, but I'm digging this one too. So let me just tell you what I put in here. So you saw, maybe you didn't see, um, but I had one grapefruit. Um, some people peel them and just use the peel. I decided this time around to use the whole, you know, I sliced them, but then I used the whole slice. I didn't just use the peel. I used the, the flesh and everything. Um, so one grapefruit is in here, two oranges. And let me tell you what each item is for so you understand why I did what I did. So the grapefruit is for cleansing. I used two oranges. That's for love, divination, and money. I used two limes, and that's for healing and purification. I used, I used three lemons for longevity and purification. I used seven cinnamon sticks for success, for healing, and for speed. I used one Palo Santo stick for cleansing. I used... I used 100 proof vodka, but if you use any alcohol, 30 proof or above, you're good to go. If you use the, the regular rubbing alcohol, I think if you use 90% or better, that's fine too. The first batch I used, I did use the uh, rubbing alcohol with that and it was okay, but I didn't care for it. I did use it and I used it up, but I, I didn't care for it. Um, anyway. So then I used peppermint oil um, for healing and psychic powers. I did about 20 drops of that. And honestly, I think I started with the number and then I added more. So it ended up being 20 drops. Whatever oil or scent you want to use is fine. Whatever works for you, you use that. I'm just telling you this is what I did as I played around with it. 
I use lemon oil, again, for longevity and purification, 20 drops of that. And I use lavender oil, which I did not think I would like. But the last time I did the second batch and I used the, the lavender, that was my favorite scent of the whole deal. I think it brought it all together and it just, it was very nice. Again, whatever you want to add into yours is a-okay with me, but this is what works for me. Lavender oil is for love and protection. Uh, you need a big jar, obviously. And the work that I did, basically, I just blessed and consecrated all the items. I cleared, cleaned the jar, uh, used some smoke to clean the jar. Um, I consecrated, blessed all of the items. I added the fruit to the jar. I include the Palo Santo. You get it. You add the fruit first. Then you add your herbs and your um, 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 your herbs. And if, you, if you're using any herbs, I didn't put any herbs in this one. I just used the oil. Um, but if you want to put herbs in there, if you want to put the lavender herb itself in there, you can do that. Um, if you want to put the um, peppermint herb in there itself, you can do that. I just chose to go with the oils this time because I was, I was trying to get it together really quickly. I do have lavender. I do have um, peppermint that I grew in the garden. I, I have all those things in the um, herb form itself, the flower form itself. But I, like I said, I was just trying to get this done quickly. So I went ahead and added the oil. Either way is fine. Either way, I think if if you do the, the flower itself, you may add another week or two just to make sure all of the essence of the plant itself gets into the liquid which is why this time around I went with the oil. I, want, I did want it to be ready within the, that four week period of time from the new moon to the next new moon. So either way, you know, if you've got time to let it sit a little longer, go for it. Whatever works for you, make it work for you. Um, then I poured the, the vodka over everything and I had to run back to the store to get another bottle of vodka because I thought what I had was enough to fill it and it wasn't, so I had to get one more just to bring it up to the top. And then once you had all that, shake it all up, up and down, up and down, store it in a dark, um, cool, dark place, and then shake it. They say to shake it daily. I have not shaken it daily, but at least once a week go in there, or a couple times a week if you can remember. Go in there and just, you know, shake it up and down, just so everything is still mixing together and you're getting a well-balanced um um, water at the end of it. Once it's all done, your time frame, whether it's the new moon to new moon, full moon to full moon, four to six weeks, what, whatever time frame you're giving it, strain everything and then take, um, you know, you throw away all the, the, the hardcore stuff and then just have the water itself. Again, I keep it stored. Um, I pour it into another vessel and I keep it stored in a cool, dark place. And I have some little spray bottles that I have, um, uh, the little brown spray bottle, glass spray bottles. And I keep some in my um, my to-go travel um, altar. Um, I keep a couple bottles around the, <laughs> around the house. <laughs> uh, so anytime I'm doing a work and after I'm done, I will spray myself down to cleanse myself. I'll spray myself to cleanse myself before I do the working. Um, sometimes at work, I know I'm going to have a, a heck of a day. I'll cleanse myself on the front end and protect myself on the front end just, just to make sure I'm ready for whatever's coming my way. Um, and so that is my recipe for this time. Thank you for joining me. I will, I will see you guys next time and peace and blessings to you all.